if you want to date if you are still single use the all energy you have to put yourself in a place where you are financially stable if you're still single use all the energy you have to be financially stable stop using the energy you have searching for a perfect man because you will never find if you are still single stop using the energy you have looking for a perfect woman because there is none No woman, no man is perfect and you will not find them. You only find imperfect person who can compare with you, who can understand you, who can believe in you, who can see the goodness in you, who can take you with all the bad things that you have, who can understand your weaknesses and can help you to make your weaknesses into achievement and strength. No woman is perfect, no man is perfect. The energy that you have right now and you're still single, you are lucky because you have a chance and opportunity to financially put yourself in a stability. Look, women. A man looks for stability in a woman. When a man finds a woman who is compatible to him, not a perfect woman, a man only finds a woman who is compatible to him. He will look around and see a woman who feels fit in his shoes and the moment he finds you he's looking for stability and stability only comes with pain because you will have to leave a lot of things as a woman if you want a successful relationship with a man you will have to sacrifice a lot of things and that is painful and as I stated during the start of this conversation, there is only one way to greatness and it is through pain. There has to be pain for you to see greatness. Without pain, and I tell every woman here that if your relationship started on a high, it started on a high, you know, picnics, going to Dubai, going to Paris. Oh, there is a, there is a, there's a golden chain, there's a ring, there's a ward, there's, there's a new mobile phone. Oh, there's a party, I bought you a car. It's not going to go anywhere. It is not going to go anywhere. There has to be some pain. Pain of sacrifice. There are some things that you've got to sacrifice before it manifests itself to where it's supposed to be. You will not get a perfect man. The moment you find him perfect, you're finding somebody who is already great. And you know what? As I said, if you are dating a person who is already great and you are not great like he is, he will use his greatness to bring you down. He will look down upon you because he will be buying for you from the inner that you paint on your toes or, 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 or what we call it, to your hair. He will buy everything for you. And the moment a man buys everything for you, you've been bought. So... I am telling you people, no one is perfect. If you want a perfect relationship, a man comes and finds a woman who he thinks is compatible to him. And what he is looking from this woman, he is looking for stability. That is what men are looking from you. And the moment he finds that stability, he pros proposes to this woman because he has seen stability in her. Because this woman, when you are here, when he goes down, the woman comes up and, pull, and pulls him up. He comes up and when he is up, he pulls the woman up. You know, you are balancing. You are like, um, we call it an, an inclined plane, you know. You are balancing each other. When he goes up, he pulls you. When you go up, you pull him. That's what we are calling stability. So that is what a man is looking for today. Every, each and every man. You know, I don't know what a man is looking for. In a woman but I know one thing that all men are looking for in a woman and that is stability I may not know what any man out there is looking for but I know one thing that every man that is born is looking for in a woman and that is stability the moment he finds that stability and he proposes and he chooses to be with you what he's now looking for is respect and it's done
No man is looking for love. Let me tell you, men don't even care about love. They don't care. These people are not emotional like women are. Love is nothing in front of them. You will always be like, I love him, but I love this man, but that is how every day, every night, every morning, you know, these ladies are coming to me. Coach, you know, I love this guy. For sure, I love him. I have, I have loved this guy with all my heart. I've given everything that is called love. I've loved him and I love him and I truly love him. But that guy is not looking for love. He's looking for stability. After stability, he's looking for respect. Once you give him respect, it's done. And you see, we have women who when, he, when she sees that there's a man somewhere, that she thinks that is compatible to them. What she's looking for from that man is a fatherly love. And I want to explain this. Women are looking for a fatherly love. You know, when a girl is born in a home, the girls tend to side with their fathers. The girls find protection from their dads. The girls are always a child to the father. So the girl grows up Seeing only the father as the protector, always running to the father. When the mother pinches them, they run and report to the father. And therefore, when she grows up and she sees a man that is compatible to, to her, what she sees is a father, not a man, not that love we are thinking for. And that's why a father is always loyal to a daughter. There's only one father for a daughter. And that's why women are so much jealous that the moment a woman feels like, you know, there's a girl around their king, they want to kill. They want to slaughter. You know, a woman is ready to forgive anything, but not disloyalty. Not a man who cheats. They want to forgive whatever. But they don't want to forgive a man who cheats. Because what they are looking for is the loyalty they saw in their fathers. Because their fathers were so loyal to them. There was no any other father apart from that one father. And that's what a woman is looking for. The moment she finds that fatherly love. Hi daughter. Baby what happened? Come here baby. Who did this to you? Baby, 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 that's what they want to hear every time. But you know what, man? It has got to come through pain because you've got to tone down your ego. You've got to cut down your ego. You've got to sacrifice a lot of things to start calling her baby. You've got to cut down a lot of things to start taking all the, 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 the nonsense from women because women are going to be nonsense. Women are going to be something like a destruction in your house. They will be petty. They will want to know where you are. They will even argue when you are trying to, you know, iron the clothes and put them on wardrobe. They will look at the clothes and they will be like, no, you don't iron like this. You iron upside down. You know, you don't arrange the clothes like this. You arrange shirts here. You arrange t-shirts here. The white shirts you should be arranged here. Black shirts. That's how women are. So you see, if you're a man who haven't understood that these people are looking for fatherly love, what are you going to do? You'll tell them F off. You'll show them a middle finger. Why are you becoming petty? I just did this. And before you know it, you slapped her. Before you know it, you used a bad word on her. She was thinking that she was just doing the right thing because she was a daddy's daughter or a daddy's kid where she could even go and report her mother, expecting that, that her father is going to punish her mother. If I'm lying, women are here. The daughters, the kids, the, the girls, they report their mothers to the father, expecting the father to punish their mother. <laughs> Remember the mother who, who, who gave birth to them and is breastfeeding them? You know? They report everything and that's how they are going to come into your house and start reporting you and now where can they report they will report you to you 
and they expect you to punish yourself. In fact, sometimes they expect you to hold your ears and do squats. And that's how they were created. So, these are all things that we call pain. We have to undergo, you know, when we want something better, pain has to be there. The moment you start avoiding pain, the moment you start like, you know, I don't want, I need, I need peace in my house. I don't want a woman like this. You'll never get a good woman because there ain't one. Those are the ones that are available. So guys, today this lesson was about pain. Why is pain important in our life?